<laughs> oh, Tim! Oh, bitch, run! Oh, dude, I, hopefully I'll be able to cut that out. That's fine. Um, uh, let's pretend, cut to edit it out. Yeah, yeah. Let's pretend it didn't happen. Um, how you going, man? Yeah, good. So good to be back at One Arbo. <laughs> it is. It is. It's so good to be able to have fun, gather, and, and find out more and new wonderful things about Jesus, which is really, really exciting. It is. It's absolutely great. Hey, Vish, do you have our uh, questions? I feel like we haven't done that for a few weeks now. Oh, you know what? I do. I've got my trusty... Oh, it's back. It is. The random hat question generator. Now, Tim, you got to choose a colour. Red. Wait, no. Orange. Uh, it's orange, pink, blue, pink, I think. Blue. Yeah. And white, maybe? Uh, maybe. I don't... Maybe. Let's go blue. Blue. Like okay. your background. Ooh. All righty. Oh, okay. This one's a bit odd. Um, if animals could talk, which one would be the rudest? Hmm. It's a tricky one. Maybe cats. <laughs> I feel like they just have a general disregard for people, you know? They're a bit rude. <laughs> it's all about them. Yeah. You know what? I, I think that it might be a sloth. Um, only because it, that would be annoyingly slow and I'd find that really rude. Um, so it's probably nothing to do with them apart from, dude, just finish the sentence. So, but yeah. All right. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna have another go. Uh, let's see. What do we got? Orange, my favorite color. Oh, no, we're not using that one. I think we've done it before. Let me just read it out because <laughs> this is a really sad one. If Peanut butter wasn't called peanut butter. What would it be called? So, yeah, exactly. I, well, I saved ourselves a little bit. Uh, Sometimes the hat lets itself down, doesn't it? It, it does. It does. Uh, Tim, I don't know if I've asked you this one, but uh, what is your favourite smell? Whoa. What is your favourite smell? Can I do two? Yeah. I like the combined smell of when the mowing has just been done, of oh. freshly cut grass and uh, two-stroke petrol. <laughs> yeah, hand in hand, hand in hand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you know I what, like I've, the been making... the fresh. Yeah. I've been making lots of uh, pancakes with the girls, uh, with my girls, uh, on Sunday mornings, actually. Church is our, uh, our special time to make breakfast. Um, and I've been using lots of vanilla essence. So I think vanilla, oh. like fresh vanilla essence is like, oh, just something else. It is a great smell, isn't it? Vanilla. Yeah. It's just beautiful. Yeah. Great pick, Vish. Oh, yeah. No, thank you. Thank you, mate. Hey, um, speaking, speaking, of, about, speaking about oh. uh, smells here, I know that sounds really odd, but in my background, there's a bit of a fish, a cheeky fish happening here. Um, have you ever caught a fish? Because I know if you catch a fish, it's, it's pretty stinky work, right? Yes, yes it is. Um, especially, you know, after you've had it for a little bit and you <laughs> maybe you forgot to leave it in water or put it on, on ice. They get pretty stinky. Yeah. I've had I've had some luck fishing fish, but I feel like I've spent a lot more time not catching fish than catching fish when I've had my line in the water. How about yourself? Yeah. You know, I even struggled to catch a fish in a fish catching pond where they're all contained and your one job was just literally put a hook and some bait and you'd catch a fish because they're all jam packed into this and I still couldn't catch. So it's not even fair. Like, um, isn't, there so, a, isn't there a saying about that? It's like shooting fish in a barrel. Yeah, yeah. And you should, but anyway. Uh, so I've had some tragic fishing stories. But you know what? Today's story isn't so tragic. Well, it's a story, but it does have a, a large fish in it. Is that right, Tim? It certainly does, and it's all about someone taking a message, uh, and it's a hard message, but it's a really good message. And it reminds me actually of a verse in Matthew where Jesus says that all authority has been given to him, uh, and that because he has all authority, he sends us out to go and make disciples, uh, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And so that's really exciting for us. That's a, a great message for us to take to people. And it's actually... Uh, something that we're going to get to see more and more of today so that's a great thing isn't it Vish? Fantastic yeah keen to rip in keen to find out more about this story of this message and messenger uh, right now let's play a game 
We'll see you guys soon. All right. Woo! Hey, Wanavo, it's Julie here. I've got for a game for us to play now. It's called Messengers Coming. There's going to be some poses to do, so I need you to try them with me. All right, the first one, take your mark, as if you're getting ready to run in a running race. The second one is run with the message. Then we're going to wipe the sweat and take a drink. And messengers coming. We're gonna listen for messengers coming because we wanna hear what the message is. All right, let's see if I can trick you. Hmm. Take your mark. Run with the message. Take a drink. Take your mark. Run with the message. Wipe the sweat. Messengers coming. Ah, did I catch any of you out? Were you able to keep up? Let's try again. Wipe the sweat. Take a drink. Run with the message. Wipe the sweat. Run with the message. Take your mark. Run with the message. Take a drink. Messenger's coming. Ah. Did I catch any of you out that time? Are you listening hard for the message? Let's try one more turn. Okay, take your mark. Wipe the sweat. Take your mark. Run with the message. Have a drink. Take your mark. Run with the message. Wipe the sweat. Messenger's coming. Are you listening closely? I hope so, because we're going to hear a story now about God's messenger.
going, Arthur? How are you doing? I was just reading a true story from the Bible. Would you like to read it with me? I'm reading from the Jesus Storybook Bible. And if you're reading a Jesus Storybook Bible, you can find it on page 160. Or if you're reading a, another sort of Bible, you can find it in the book of Jonah. Because that's who we're learning about today. We're learning about Jonah. Have you ever tried to run away from anything? Jonah tried to run away from God. But everyone knows that you can't run away from God. Let's find out what happened. God had a job for Jonah, but Jonah didn't want it. Go to Nineveh, God said, and tell your worst enemies that I love them. No, said Jonah, those are bad people doing bad things. Exactly, said God, they have run far away from me, but I can't stop loving them. I will give them a new start and forgive them. No, said Jonah, they don't deserve it. Hmm, I'll run away, Jonah said to himself. Far away, so far away that God won't be able to find me. Then I won't have to do what God says. It's a good plan, he said, because as far as he knew, it was a good plan. Do you think it was a good plan? Let's find out. But of course, it wasn't a good plan at all. It was a silly plan because you can run away from God, but he will always come and find you. Jonah went ahead with his not very good plan. One ticket to not Nineveh, please, he said, and boarded a boat sailing in the very opposite direction of Nineveh. Well, it wasn't long before a fierce wind blew and the boat started to lurch and pitch and roll and everyone started turning green. Jonah sat bolt upright in his bed. You see, the first thing that went wrong with Jonah's not very good plan was that God had sent a big storm after him. The sailors couldn't sail their ship properly. We're sinking, they screamed and started throwing everything overboard. Suitcases, food, whatever they could find. By now, Jonah knew that the storm was his fault. Throw me in instead, he shouted to the sailors, and the storm will stop. The sailors weren't sure. Hmm, what should they do? Let's find out. It's the only way you can be saved, Jonah cried. And so one, two, three, Splash! No sooner had Jonah hit the water than the waves grew calm, the wind died down, and the storm stopped. Just then, when Jonah thought it was all over, when he was sure that he was going to drown, God sent a big fish to rescue him. The fish swallowed Jonah whole with one big gulp. Ooh. After three days, the fish spat Jonah safely out onto a sandy beach. Just then, Jonah heard someone calling his name. Go to Nineveh, God said. And this time, what do you think Jonah said? Jonah said, yes. And he went straight to Nineveh and told everyone God's wonderful message. Even though you have run far from God, he can't stop loving you, Jonah told them. Run to him so he can forgive you. The people of Nineveh listened to Jonah and they started loving God. They learned to do what God said and to stop running away from him, just like Jonah. Many years later, God was going to send another messenger with the same wonderful message. Like Jonah, he would spend three days in utter darkness. But this messenger would be God's own son. He would be called the Word because he himself would be God's message. God's message translated into our own language. Everything God wanted to say to the whole world in a person. Do you know who that person was? <laughs> That's right, it was Jesus. 
We're going to learn a bit more about Jesus throughout this whole time on Online Arbo. But let's keep thinking about this passage a little bit more now. Hmm. I'll leave you alone to let you do some thinking and there'll be some questions on the screen. Bye. Hey everyone, I'm Daniel here. Now for this week's lockdown challenge, I want to see if you guys can make a paper plane that you can go further than mine. So my plane went 10 meters after I flew it. So let's see if you guys can one, make a pretty decent paper airplane and see if you can beat my score. Have you crafted? Oh guys, what a great lockdown challenge. Hey, make sure you have a go and, and show someone else at the same time to help you remember and that other person know a wonderful truth about the message and a wonderful messenger. Really cool. Hey, Tim, um, we had a lot of fun today opening up this story. It's been awesome, Vish. It's been so, so good. It's such a great story in Jonah. Uh, and a great reminder as well from Matthew's Gospel to go and tell others uh, yeah. as we were able at the moment in lockdown. But maybe when we're chatting with our friends or online, great opportunities to share yeah. with them. It's so cool to be a little bit creative with things as well, which is nice. So speaking about creative, now last time, a few weeks ago, you made me scissor, paper, rock, and I lost. And I wasn't able to say bye. You did. I mean, Un I snuck it unbeatable. in. Unbeatable. You did anyway, mate. I know, I know, I know. So um, it's time for me to lay out the challenge to you, all right? So if I win, which I really hope I will, and when I say bye, which I really hope I say bye first, uh, it will be a great feeling. But um. We love you and uh, maybe it's your time to shine again. Uh, but on account of, uh, we'll do three, two, one on one, you scissor paper rock, right? Yep, ready. All right, let's do it. 
One, oh sorry, no. Three, two, one. Oh. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Unbeatable one, Arvo. Unbeatable. If anyone thinks they can beat me, then send Vish an email and let him know, but you'll be wrong. So that's okay. It's been a great week, guys. So good uh, to get to say goodbye to you again. Vish would love to. He's had a great time today as well, I'm sure. No, but he's going to sit there sadly in silence. We'll see you guys next Friday.